Now, the specimen today I shall discuss that is the cerebral hemisphere. It is often come in the examination. Now you see here the two cerebral hemisphere is united by means of corpus callosum. But in the examination usually one cerebral hemisphere is given to you. Now this is the anatomical position of the cerebral hemisphere. This is the left cerebral hemisphere. Why it is left? Because in the anatomical position, the frontal lobe, you will see that is blunt. The occipital lobe, it is tapering. So the blunt uh, frontal pole is situated in front and you will see the temporal pole, it is directed towards the frontal pole. So this is how you will hold the anatomical position and you can say this is the hemisphere of the left side. Now in the hemisphere you will get the different borders and surfaces. What are the borders and surfaces? The surfaces are the convex superolateral surface. You will see this is the convex superolateral surface. Now this is the flat, flat medial surface you will see and concave -con convex that is the inferior surface. Again, inferior surface is divided by the lateral sulcus stem into anterior orbital part and the posterior occipital part or the tentorial part. Now, you should locate the where the central sulcus is situated. How will you identify the central sulcus? It is not centrally situated, but it is situated one centimeter behind the midpoint of the frontal lobe and the occipital lobe. So this is the central sulcus and central sulcus cuts the superomedial border. So this is the central sulcus. And in front of the central sulcus, there is the precentral sulcus. If there is the, uh, it is not continuous, so you can draw the line so that it can make the sulcus prominent. Now this is the prefrontal gyrus. In this front prefrontal gyrus, you know our all motor activity that are, we are holding it, this specimen, or you are doing writing and everything, all motor activity, it is mapped in this region. And in the human being, it is situated upside down, that is like the shishashana. So behind the central sulcus, this area is known as post-central gyrus. Here all the sensation are perceived. What are the different types of sensation? There are crude touch, there are fine touch, the hot, all types of sensation is perceived in this region. Now the in front of the central sulcus, this area is known as the frontal lobe. Behind the central sulcus and on the medial surface there is a sulcus which is known as parieto occipital sulcus. So in between these two this is the parietal lobe and this is the occipital lobe. In the medial surface you will see the white matter this is known as the corpus callosum. <coughs> now this is the commissural fiber. It connects the two same sides of the hemisphere. You see, this is known as the rostrum of corpus callosum. This is the bend of genu. This is the body and this is the splenium of the corpus callosum. And you will see inside the corpus callosum, this cavity, this is the cavity of the lateral ventricle. You will see this cavity is covered here by means of septum pellucidum. So you will see here and this is a foramen. You will see here this foramen is known as foramen of Monroe. It connects the lateral ventricle with the aqueduct of the sylvius uh, and with the you will see the third ventricle. So 
This is the corpus callosum. Above the corpus callosum, this is the callosal sulcus. Above the callosal sulcus, this is known as the cingulate gyrus. Here, our all emotion are situated. Above that, this is known as the medial frontal gyrus, where part of the memory and the part of the upper limb, low, part of the lower limb sensation and also micturition is situated in this area, which is known as the paracentral lobule. So this is the paracentral lobule. Now you will see here beneath the Splenium of corpus callosum, there is a sulcus. There is a common stem and this stem divides into two. One go upwards which is known as the parieto-occipital sulcus. Another goes behind and this is known as the calcarine sulcus. Along the calcarine sulcus, our visual area is situated. Primary visual area, there is the visual secondary area. So, striate area, peristriate area, parastriate area all situated here. So the artist, they have developed this region more. They can perceive more quality of vision than us. So this is the medial surface. And you will see there, this is the internal carotid artery. And it divides into two. One is the anterior cerebral artery. You see the common carotid artery, it is so thick, thick. But here you will see how thin the artery becomes so that the brain get nutrition. If it is a thick one, the brain does not get nutrition. So this is the anterior cerebral artery and which artery goes into this uh, lateral sulcus that is known as the middle cerebral artery. So you can see this thing. Now the inferior surface you will see, you will see there are anterior posteriorly directed sulcus. One is this is the collateral sulcus and it makes a this type of gyri. This is known as the parahippocampal gyri. And hippocampus means seahorse. So you see this is the parahippocampal uh, gyrus. You will see beneath which lies the hippocampus. And this is the occipitotemporal sulci which divides it into medial and the lateral occipitotemporal gyri. So these are the sulci and gyri. So this is the prefrontal cortex where all our thinking process, the uh, foresightedness and all are situated in this region. So we see in the our deity, we make a third eye here because this region is for foresightedness, forbearance, uh, all the thing. So, and this thing is developed in case of poet, in case of the intelligent person. But uh, it is also developed in case of the person who uh, lying in the underworld also. But their development is retrograded. Next, you will see in this region rise our Broca's area. That means the area of speech, motor area. And in this region rise the posterior speech area or the renic area. Anterior speech area and posterior speech area. And here lies our auditory power. That means we can hear through this region. So this is the uh, surfaces and important sulci and gyri of the cerebral hemisphere. Thank you everyone.